Hi everyone, welcome to the new video review series on Paulton.org. Well, previously we looked at the Proton Iris, but this time we're taking things up a few notches to this, the all-new Mercedes-Benz C-Class. Is it really the BMW 3 Series killer we all hope it is? Let's find out. I think most of us would agree that based on showroom appeal alone, the F33 series can't hold a candle to this new C-Class. I mean, this thing just looks like a million bucks. It's like a mini S-Class. Whereas with the 3 series, you really wouldn't want it to look like the 7 series now, would you? Ugh. This new C-Class is obviously not your typical uncle's Mercedes-Benz. Not from the outside, and definitely not from the inside. The first time you get into this car, you'd be like, wow. Okay, fine, I can't pull that off. How about, whoa. Better? Yeah, whatever, you get my drift. This car looks amazing on the inside. Circular vents, metal buttons, it really does feel like an S-Class in here and everything within reach has a touch of quality to them. Certain things could be better, of course. The screen is a bit small, and this touchpad is so unuser-friendly, it's just an annoyance most of the time. Overall though, this is much closer to the S-Class than the A-Class, and far beyond what the 3 Series offers. But you knew that already, didn't you? The bigger question we need to address is how it's like to drive. But first, I'll just switch my phone from my Cellcom home fiber internet to this 4G LTE Porter Wi-Fi by Cellcom. Can't leave your house without fast internet, right? To start with, all new Mercs come with this column gear selector, which is fine, but doesn't quite give the same feel as a normal gear knob. But you know what? When you're parking, selecting drive or reverse is so much easier. Plus, it does free up more space on the centre console. On the move, this C-Class is just beautiful. It's so quiet in here. The seats are fantastic and the ride. Wow, just wow. There's no doubt that the 3 Series got a lot softer in between the E90 and the F30 models. But this, this is on a whole new level. And like the previous generation C-Class though, you can't change the suspension settings on this one. So you'll have to stick to one mode. But really, when it's this comfortable, I wouldn't have it any other way. The BMW 3 Series does give you dynamic suspension, but only on the 328i M Sport model. The Audi A4 on the other hand has adaptive dampers on all models, but at this point, it's just too old to compete against the brand new Mercedes. On the C-Class, you can use the Agility Select switch to choose between Eco, Comfort, Sport and Sport Plus modes. But seriously, I think most owners would just stick to one mode in this car, Comfort. So yes, the C-Class has excellent ride quality. But that's not the whole story, because guess what? It's good to drive too. That's right, this Mercedes pulls at your heartstrings. Compared to the 320i, this C200 has a nicer, more powerful engine. It has great low-end torque, and the engine is very muted too. But it's hard to forget that for the price of this car, you could almost afford the 328i, which is faster even than the C250. And the BMW has a better, smoother gearbox too. That's not to say that this car is all show and no go. Point the C-Class at a few corners and it can be quite a fun experience. There's very little body roll, and the steering is quick and accurate. Well, at least in sport mode. Forget what you think of old, heavy and unwieldy Mercedes-Benzes. This one feels light and agile. The steering isn't quite as good as the 3 Series though. That one offers a bit more feel, more driver engagement, and the Beamer's body control is slightly better too for sure. But bear in mind, the Merc is a lot more comfortable to be in. It feels more expensive, more cosseting, and it's just a nicer place to be. The fact that it even gets close to the BMW's driving experience while retaining its comfort is just amazing if you ask me. 
Harfrish is behind the wheel again, driving faster than he should be, as usual, but I'm not thrown about as much back here. In my opinion, the ride quality actually betters that of Merck's own E-Class, and that doesn't even drive as well. That's the brilliant thing about this car. It manages to marry a lively handling balance with class-leading interior comfort. Let me put it this way. It may lose out to the BMW in the fun department by like this much, but it's miles, miles better at making its occupants feel special. A few bad points though. I'd have preferred a little bit more headroom to fit in my big hair, and the bench could be more supportive here. Now the 3 Series offers you more headroom, but less legroom. So if you're going to be using the rear quarters a lot, try them both on for size. So that's about it for the all-new Mercedes-Benz C-Class. Should you buy one over the BMW 3 Series? I say yes. It has a longer warranty period. That's four years versus two. It looks better, feels better, and I think it strikes a nicer balance between ride and handling. And really, just compare the two interiors for yourself, and you'll see it's no contest. For a more detailed look at the car's specifications, you can always log on to our new website, carbase.my. Let me just show you through my 4G LTE portal Wi-Fi by Cellcom. Carbase.my is Malaysia's most comprehensive new car research website. You'll find complete specifications, safety and warranty details of all models sold here. You can also compare up to five cars with each other. So finding one that fits your needs the most is now easier with the help of Carbase.my. Well, there you go. Nice, huh? Cellcom's port to Wi-Fi lets you stay connected in your car wherever you go. And better yet, it's all streamlined into one single bill together with your Cellcom home fibre internet and Cellcom Wi-Fi hotspots. And that's it from me, Jonathan James Tan. Do give us a thumbs up if you liked watching this video and don't forget to drop us a comment. Until then, Keep calm and indicate.